G'day. I can see you in there. Hello. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 13 of the Fine Art of Distraction. So, today's episode is going to be a little bit different because this is actually the second time I'm doing this intro. I already did the intro. I already showed what products I'm going to be using and I already did the pour. Well, I actually did two pours because I had a bit of a mishap. Well, actually, I had two mishaps. The first mishap was I forgot to turn my microphone on. <laughs> silly, silly, silly. <laughs> the second mishap was I dropped the canvas mid tilt. Well, it slipped out of my hands. And when I went to catch it, I actually put my hands in the paint. So I ruined it. <laughs> so, but the stupid thing is, even though I had to redo it, I forgot to turn my microphone on again. <laughs> what a goof. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What am I going to do with myself? I just don't know. <laughs> Alrighty. So, well, let's talk about something fun. How cool did this turn out? This is the dry result of last week's pour. And look at all these fingerlings. There's just fingerlings on fingerlings on fingerlings. This is sick. <laughs> I was a little bit concerned because I did actually use a much thicker consistency than I normally do use. And it turned out amazing. And I think that's how I was able to get such distinct fingerlings because of the consistency it was. Um, yeah, so I was concerned that it was gonna crack, but as you can see there, there's not one crack anywhere. It is super smooth. And the last few um, pours that I've been doing, the outcome has been super smooth. Like, it's been awesome. <laughs> so yeah, very happy with this. And this is the way that I, that I, I wanna hang it because I love this top bit just here. Alrighty. Alrighty, so now that I've told you about the mishap that happened, I'll tell you actually what I'm gonna be doing on today's um, episode. I'm actually gonna be doing a bloom, but I'm not gonna be swiping today. I'm gonna be blowing with my mouth. So um, yeah, there's two very popular ways to do a bloom. One is to swipe and the other is to blow the cell activator with your mouth. And that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, well, I've already done it. <laughs> so um, now that I've told you what I'm gonna be doing today, uh, and I showed you the dry result, and told you about the mishap. Um, also with the mishap, because there was no um, uh, audio, I will actually be do doing a voiceover. So I do apologize that I'm doing a voiceover, but at least there was still video footage of the actual pour itself. So I'm very thankful that that happened. Um, yeah, so. I will be doing a voiceover, so yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's head over to the table and I'll show you what products I'm gonna be using and then, yeah, we'll get into it. Thanks, guys. Alrighty then. So here's the products that we're gonna be using today and down the front here is actually some pigments that I haven't used before. Um, they're from a company called Paper Mill. Now, I actually have pretty much the whole selection of um, the Paper Mill pigments, but I actually haven't used them yet. So I'm excited to see what they turn out like. The colors that I'm using today are Reflex Violet, Cyan, True Blue, Aztec Gold, and Magenta. Then we've also got some Liquitex Basics in tube paints, and the colors I'm using are Phthalo Green, Dioxazine Purple, and Metallic Copper. Now, the paints, the tube paints here, the, the Liquitex and also the paper mill pigments have been mixed with 
Torben's Easy Coat in neutral, and also Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. Now, again, this is actually the Shelly Art recipe, so I can't tell you the ratio that I'm using. All I can say is the paint and the pigments are a different ratio to each other. Even though I'm using the same pouring medium, it's actually a different ratio, okay? The cell activator that I'm using is from Amsterdam and that's titanium white and that's mixed with Australian Floetrol 4 to 1. So that's 4 parts Floetrol to 1 part Amsterdam titanium white. The pillow paint that I'm going to be using today is from British Paints and that's low sheen interior and that's in white. Okay. So now that I've gone through the products that we're going to be using today, we'll head over to the table, we'll start pouring some paints, and then we'll start blooming. Thanks, guys. Alrighty, so I'm about to blow the bloom, and yes, I'm wearing a mask underneath my chin. This is what I have to do to protect my beard from going in the paint. I've done blooms in the past where my beard copped it and paint is very hard to get out of my beard. <laughs> so yes, I'm wearing the mask wrong. I guess thank God for the pandemic that I've got these masks lying around. But yeah, so we're about to blow the bloom and this is what I gotta do. <laughs> Alrighty then, so I'm actually doing a voiceover now because silly me forgot to turn on my microphone. And this what you're watching is actually the first attempt at this pour and it's about to go horribly, horribly wrong. Yep, that's right. I dropped it. My hand slipped, it slipped off the cup and yep. <laughs> so let's see that in instant replay. No. <laughs> What's the opposite of you? I guess it's no. <laughs> uh, I was absolutely gutted. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I mean, I've I've had it done before. I've done it many times actually, and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have done it as well. So, I uh, what do I do? I scrape it. Gather all the paint, as you can see, I'm sort of mixing it back into sort of one colour. Then pour it into a, a cup, or try to gather it into a cup. Um, because, yeah, I don't really want to waste the paint. So, yeah, so I scraped it off, gather the paint, and I'm about to do a repour. But, silly me, actually forgot to turn my microphone on again so you've got me doing a voiceover over the whole ending of this so <laughs> so as you can see here i'm just laying the pillow paint down um but also adding just a bit of a flow extender for the pillow paint to to slide over um and you'll notice that the colors on the side are the exact order in in which that i actually lay them on the pillow itself um, because I um, scraped all the paint up there was a lot of air bubbles in it so I had to sort of um, go through and pop the air bubbles and there was quite a lot so I quickly did just a, a, a bit of a, a blow torch um, yeah and here's round two so I'm just laying all the colors over the top of each other and then I'll put some cell activator on and then I'll blow it out. So now that I've let you know what I'm going to be doing, I'll just put some music on so then we can all have a bit of a dance. Thanks, guys.
Okay, so here I have decided that I've stretched it out enough um, and now I'm going to allow the colours to go over the edge um, to, to spread it even further. Um, but always remembering to make sure that you cover your corner enough and then pull it back. Um, so then that way there's plenty of coverage over every corner. And I'm loving what I see on the side there. That's what I love about this technique, like where you can sort of um, stretch and manipulate uh, what you're seeing and, and get it going over the side. It looks so cool how it, it just sort of wraps around the edges. I just love this technique because of that. It's so cool. And now I'm stretching it over towards the next corner and letting it wrap around that one. Um, I'm leaving um, this in real time just so you can see how um, fast or actually how slow the, the paint is actually moving. Um, there wasn't a great deal of paint on there. I probably should have used a little bit more pillow paint, but there was just enough. <laughs> so there was just enough to sort of get the, get the paint going over every corner. So thankfully um yeah everything worked out Alrighty, so i might just stop talking for a little bit and yeah i'll get some tunes happening you Alrighty, at this point I'm loving what I see, so I take the camera off the little cradle and I go around for a bit of a close-up, so enjoy.
Alrighty guys, so we're coming up to the end and I tell you what, I'm loving what I see. Um, and if you guys also love what you see, I'd love it if you give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Um, and when you do subscribe, if you hit that little um, dark bell, that'll indicate when I upload new videos. So um, also, if you think any of your friends or any of your family members would like what you saw today, please share it with them. I'd love for them to have a look as well. All right, guys. This was a bit of a stressful one for me today because there was a couple of mishaps, um, <laughs> as you know. But hey, these things happen, as I'm sure a lot of you out there that do fluid art have probably had this exact same thing happen to them probably more than once. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you once again for joining me on this episode. And this is the fine art of distraction.